getting ready for the great escape and um, I don't know where I've put the 6mm I was going to run some 16mm up into the electrical distribution panel but because I couldn't get any 10 it's going to be a ball ache of a job so I've decided I'm going to wait until Simon comes <laughs> sorry Simon um, it's not just that it's just that you know I'm a lazy fucker made up some uh, battery link cables the other day didn't have any 50 in black so went to buy some more yesterday from my new best friend JPP Auto Electrical Bitses I ought to put a link up I've got cards somewhere pinned to the board upstairs but anyway um, so this will be the last bit of the battery bank that needs doing these are to link um, the two first batteries this then goes down to link to the starter and then this one bridges across the starter um, boom there you go to the third of the leisure batteries strange way of doing it I know had a problem with the um, bilge pump after I'd been mucking about bilge pump stopped working I had a little look at the wiring and it's just full of joins so I thought I'd make a new fused line from the bilge pump switch back all the way down to the starter battery and the starter battery usually just doesn't get used and doesn't get drained so there's always power in there for the bilge pump so even if your leisure batteries are totally knackered there's always power left and I haven't got any 8mm crimpon things like this this is a 6 this is the largest I've got so I can't pop it onto the battery terminal which is sod's law so now I'm going to have to get some Eight, or possibly even ten, yeah, ten would do. Um, crimp on bloody terminal things. That's turning into one of those uh, painting the fourth road bridge type um, exercises. But thank God for buying this, Tim. If you ever watch this, this was one of the best recommendations ever. So much easier than um, the first lot of cable crimpers I made was by cutting down. Um, one of these you know a, a bolt cropper and what I did I've still got it somewhere obviously I'll I'll never use it again but I just cut a hex is it gonna be very safe doing that probably not I cut a hex in here but of course that's only okay for certain terminal sizes duh but I was at the time I was only using certain terminal sizes so it's not too bad this comes with everything from next to nothing up to bleeding massive so all the various different terminal sizes you can get these can go back in here now as well oh, fuck it i keep meaning to sort that out but you know it'll happen one day um so yeah all these tiny little things which keep getting in the way uh keep getting in the way i'm gonna pop some heat shrink on here uh and then pop them on the boat that's one of my least favourite jobs completed. So these are the new links that have gone in. And then we have the fourth leisure battery tucked away under there. Now, this is just to see whether it makes any difference. Hello, darling. Where's other quacky dog? It's a bit of a worry. Are you all on your own, son? That's not good. Uh, anyway, right. So, least favourite job, especially in rain. And just as a, uh, give you an idea, how much rain we did have. It's quite a bit there. I can probably take that. The idea was to put a battery box in there, but that's far too big. It wouldn't have worked. 
All right, so that's good. Let's get the cover back on. Well, it could be worse out there, I suppose, couldn't it? Here's something that nobody will have seen for a very long time. Yes, rear cabin reconfigured with two singles. Now, the reason for that is we're taking a lot of stuff with us. And this just makes it easier to get to the lot of stuff. So this will be mine. <laughs> with all my uh, precious things on. And Charlotte will no doubt fill this one up and the drawers <coughs> with all her precious things. I've never slept back here. It's a little light. That's staying. I'm not replacing that because there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's another one down here, look. Hey, that still works as well. Not surprising because they've probably never been used. So when we got this, it was, this is, designed to sleep six people two in the front two in the middle two at the back but you can have this as either two singles like this or with a lot of huffing puffing and manipulation take those drawers out lift that up spin it round lay it back down put it back over there and then take the drawers out lift it up spin it round lay it down put it back over here so it's either two singles or a double but this gives us just a little bit more usable space i am tempted probably to put both of these together because charlotte is going to be storing her bike in here so this probably won't end up just being my space this will probably be charlotte's space for her bicycle and all her bicycling bicycling bits um <laughs> yeah Please give us some decent weather for summer. That would be right nice. So all the electrics are done at the stage I'm going to take them at the moment. This is the new wire that will be for the bilge pump. And then this is some six mil that I'm gonna run into this cabinet. I must remember to look after these screws which are up there somewhere to hold this in. <coughs> Excuse me um because <coughs> this um i don't know how well that's going to show up if indeed it will at all that control panel there has just got links going um from one feed so there's just not enough in there there's not enough uh shared power if you like Well, that's the back cabin of the boat sorted. 15 litres of top quality booze. Just having a, having a quick little, quick little look along here. And we've got some fruits. Fruiting, developing, whatever fruits do, starting. Look at that though. Been battered by the wind a bit the last few days. Um, we've got flowery things coming up here. This has put quite a lot of new growth on, and we've got these, whatever that might be, fruity fruits. Isn't that good? I didn't think we'd get much from the kumquat this year. I really, I think kumquats need to grow in a greenhouse what we haven't got but as long as we can keep it alive this seems to be coming back nicely had a really hard time last year as you can tell from some of these leaves this where I tried unsuccessfully to uh, to save a uh, broken branch just died well the branch got taken away by the wind but the other bit that I did there seems strong that seems to be okay this is coming back to life nicely that I transplanted into here this bonkersly good look at that it is it's some sort of I think it's a herb lemongrass maybe something like that this one also was a casualty of the wind and um, wasn't able to save it so those two broke off but we've got some new growth coming 
and uh, again really put on some size this year this has doubled in size this is supposed to be an apple blossom but here's the beautiful thing look at this how beautiful is that feeding look at that this is what it's about folks hello feed the birds and the bees and these are flowering nicely these wildflowers and I think that is comfrey but how about that a little quayside some of the um, bits of uh, bitumen we've put down have just come off a friend reckons that's because this is too smooth underneath but you know if we wanted to re-bitumen it I reckon just get some really rough 40 grit uh, emery paper on there cut that down but yeah I think we're looking good along our little quayside what we need now is uh, a nice little bit of summer stocking up for the trip with mini kegs something from our friends at uh, triple point loads of alcohol free brew dog and at some point during this trip I'm going to replace all of these fluorescent lights with these LEDs. 150 fucking quid's worth there. Uh, but the problem is <laughs> we have we have a space thing going on here now. Um, I'm hoping that's going to be sort of secure enough there because if that falls over it could cause some damage but this is Charlotte's bicycle and it's a bit bigger <laughs> inside here than it actually did look. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see that takes up <sighs> quite a bit of space, does that? It might be that a lot of the time, it's either on the roof chained up or look bicyclists that's what Charlotte will be doing between boat and car but it might spend an awful lot of time chained up on the roof or at night on the back deck talking at back deck I've just thrown on these from the outside I suppose oh I really should sort this out nicely now I've cleaned a lot of the crap from around the edge and this is just something nicer to kind of stand on really while the boat's cruising. and I think I might put that at the back no I won't I'll leave that there and I'll plonk this there you don't want anything sort of like those corners standing up because that's a trip hazard so I'll pop, pop that there where I usually sit. So I usually sit like this, you see, on here. Sorry, photo of my crotch there. Don't get too excited, girls. Uh, <laughs> right. Skelly bubble head. Need to get skelly head off. Better do that now. Hi, guys. Good to see you both back. I was a bit worried yesterday when I saw only one of you. Are you right down there? Is there anything interesting? Is there any bits of grain? <laughs> they and the fish love brew days. Hasn't been a brew day, but they've obviously found something down there they like. Oh, it's a bit cold today. Hey guys. How you doing, darling? I haven't got anything for you, I'm sorry. Next time, I'll get some grain. Because I can't feed you bread, it's not good for you. Right, anyway. That's, um... What? 
are you homing ducks? <laughs> I could just stand here all day chatting with these guys. They're so lovely. They're really tame as well. If I did have any uh, any grain, tempted to go and open a bag of Maris Otter now. Um, if I did have any grain, they'd eat it out of your hands. They're lovely. You shouldn't give them bread though. People, please, don't feed ducks bread. Right. I'm going to start giving this a bit of a clean now. Uh, ready for next week's Sussex Bitter Brew. Strange, not sure what happened there. Um, yes, the Sussex Bitter Brew, which is um, a kind of Harvey's, the Lewis Harvey's Brewery in Lewis for my formative years, um, will be done just before we set off from Doncaster. I know it sounds weird. Um, to go down to Retford and it will be ready by the time we get back oh if you like this rubbish <laughs> please feel free to subscribe to the channel It'd be lovely to have you um, do the thumbs up thing that would be lovely too thanks for watching whatever you're doing remember do it safely and until next time Cheers.